All right, so welcome back. So now in this video of automating and optimizing your life, your business, maybe I should make a quote out of that. I don't know. Anyways, for automating, this is what we're going to do. This video, I'm going to show you how to update custom values within high level using the software Make, make.com. Similar as Zapier, but in my opinion is better. And so backstory on this, my client has, they have a webinar that runs every two weeks just kind of a recurring webinar and he has a funnel that has the date in there. So what I want to do, what he was doing is every two weeks he would go into his funnel builder and he would change out the date for two weeks from now. So that when people opt in, they'd see what, when the date of the funnel is. Now he was doing that. Uh, and then he asked me, okay, Hey, is there a way we can streamline this? Cause there's a bunch of different pages and it's in there a couple of times. I said, yeah, you came to the right person. Let me see what I can do. And so I came up with this and let me first show you. I go here. So first, this is not the actual funnel, of course, but this is just a statement that is on the funnel. It says, join today, join us Tuesday, May 14th, 2024 at 4 p.m. Now, this is going to change every two weeks. It's going to be updated for the upcoming webinar. So we got to change this now. And I'm going to show you what I did originally was I came in here and I actually just created a custom value. And so now my client, all they have to do is come into their custom values, find these, and then update them for the future date. And then, so today he messaged me and said, hey, can you go update the date for two weeks from now for the next webinar? I said, yeah, let me do that. Then I got to thinking, how about I automate this? How can I streamline this? So that's what we're gonna do in this video. All right. Okay, so first off, this is what is displayed on the actual funnel. So when the customer views it, this is what they see. Now this other date down here in this format, let me just show you that this is for the workflow. The workflow, they fill out the form, they go, they go to the funnel, they fill out the form, they register. And then down here, it is the event start date so that all the confirmation or all the reminder emails and text goes out at the correct time. And since it's a certain time, you gotta set the event start date. So in here, you can come in and you can set the date every time. But if you do that, now you have them do that automatically or ma manually. So instead, that's why I took that custom value. Now I couldn't just do the this custom value because this is in the right format that high level X. And you see down here, recommended formats is this format here. So that's why I made the webinar short date, which is the date here, same right here. So that goes there, that's where that is. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to update these automatically, set up an automation to do that. So I'm gonna head over to make here and in make, now if you just choose, if you go here and search for a high level, you're gonna have the high level app that is built by high level. But if you look in here, they have some things, they just don't have a whole lot. For example, there's no updating custom values or updating custom fields. The way to do that is you have to make an API call and you have to know the JSON, you have to do all this other mumbo jumbo that I, who, we don't wanna do that, we wanna make it easier. To make it easier, we're going to use this other one called High Level GHL Experts. Now this was made by an outside party. What they did, they created the application within Make. And you're not gonna find it by just searching. You have to actually be invited to it. I mean, it's free for anyone invited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you this link. I'll have the link down in the description. You can just grab that. You go to this link and you're gonna have this here and it's gonna have you install. And as you see, there's a bunch more actions in here. There's a lot more things you can do. Create calendar team, create custom field, delete, add, load snapshots, all a bunch of things that you to do. Great for if you're on the SaaS plan. Down here, and also if we look, there are update custom value right here. And that's what we're trying to do. So you're gonna install this. And now when you're in your make, here you're gonna have the GHL experts. So what we're gonna do is we can grab, we can scroll down here and grab update custom value. All right, so we have this, let's bring this over here. Now, before I actually just go and set up in, in this to send it over, I wanna, I usually like to test it. So I'm gonna go down to tools to make sure I get the formatting correctly. I'm gonna set, set multiple variables, remove the clock over here. This is the starting position. And in here, I'm just going to call this date. Now, down in the value here, we need to set up the formula to add 14 days to calculate when it's going to run. Before I do that, what I'm gonna do is 
we want this to run every 14 days, meaning we want this to run basically when the, his webinar ends. So then the funnel is updated from when he starts sending traffic again for 14 days from now. And the way that's going to be done is we're going to set the time for when this runs at regular intervals. Is there something else we can do in here? Specific dates? No. Days of the month? Well, no, because that's going to change. Is there a way to do days of the week? On Tuesday, but then they'll run every Tuesday. We don't want that. We only want it to run specific times in the advance here. Nope, nothing there. So we're gonna do, we're just gonna go back to regular intervals. Since right now, this is actually about an hour after the webinar is done, it's perfect timing for me to set this up. So now we gotta see how many minutes. Okay, we're gonna do this. Now we go 14 days times, what are we saying? 14 days times uh, 24, 24 hours in a day times how many hours in a or minutes in an hour, 60. So now we have 20,160. So that's how many minutes from now, and then this will run, meaning every two weeks. If I click OK, now I look down here and it says every, let me move my head out of the way. Look down here, it says every 14 days. So now we know it's scheduling to run every 14 days. Now we're gonna come back in here, and now we're gonna actually set our date. So this is gonna run today, which is May 14th, and we wanted to set the date for May, two weeks from now, May 28th. By that, we're going to go into the calendar uh, date and time functions here. We're going to we're going to do format. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to come back here because I want to see how the format actually is. I'm going to copy this, come back. Now, just in this variable, I can put it down here just, just to see. In here, now what we need is we need the date. So what date are we formatting? I can do the now, but we want to add 14 days. Remember, we don't want it to run now or set it to now. We want it to run 14 or set it to 14 days in the future. So we need to take this now. We need to add 14 days to this. So I'm going to use this add days function. Now, if I look, see the underline here, format date, underline this, and then we have the semicolon and the parentheses. So now I can see that this add days here is working on the first part of this formula. The date part. So add day, but now this now needs to be in there. So let's delete the parentheses, delete that. What are we going to format? So add days is the date, semicolon, number. How many days? We're going to put 14 in and then close the parentheses. So now we see this one is set up. And now what we're going to do, now we need the next part of the form, the date, which is the format. So I'm going to put another semicolon and now we are at the format section. How do we want it to look? We don't need to do the, the Tuesday because it is every Tuesday, but we need the month, the day, and the year. So let's put the cursor back here. Now let's go back to our to the make uh, token date and format so you can see which ones to grab so you can update that date. So we go in here at month. We look, let's do the full month day or full month name. So this is MMMM, four M's. All right. So we'll grab that, either copy that or just come type it in MMMM. Now we're going to do the semicolon or not semicolon. Now we just want a space and then the day. We want the day with the second. So with ordinal, whatever, not really sure ordinal means. <laughs> but first, second, so this is you know, like the first, second, third, not just the regular number. So let's take, uh, so there's gonna be the MO. So we're gonna come back to here and put in there. M, capital M, lowercase o, and next is we want the comma and then the year. So we'll do comma, space, and now we need the year. So let's come back here, and we have the year, we want the full year, so it's four capital Ys. One, two, three, four, all right? I can delete this or just leave it, it doesn't matter, for this testing here. Click OK, now let's run this once. Let's see what we get. May, wait, May 5th, May 5th, 2024. What did I do wrong? Should be May 28th. Uh, okay. Add days 14, comma. That's month number, year. That's correct. Oh, <laughs> brain fart there. Okay. So I chose the month with ordinal, which is. May is the fifth month. So that's why it says May 5th. No, I need this one down here, the DO. So the day 
of the month with ordinal. That was a mistake there. And that's why we test things. Okay, so now I need DO. That was wrong. MO, this should be DO. Okay, let's test this now. Okay, and then I'm gonna run once. And look, uh, Tuesday, May 14th was the original one, and now it says May 28th. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. So now I can come in here and say I were to take this Tuesday, put Tuesday in front, hit the space. Let's get rid of this. We don't need this. Now I hit OK. Run once again. And look, that's exactly what I want. Tuesday, May 28th, 2024. So what I can do now, uh, well, let's get the second one too. So let's add an item. Now we're going to do, what is the date short? In here, let me just copy all of this. Put this down here. Now let's go back and look and see what our format is again. I'm going to take this. Put it down here to see. Okay, we don't need Tuesday. Format date, add days. Now we want to add 14 days. But now the formatting is going to be different. So we need the month. So what is the month, the full name of the month? We just want the month here. So the month number, it's going to be it's just 1M. Okay, so we put 1M there. And now the day. We didn't then well, we need dash and now day is just the single digit day is just the D. So let's go back here and just verify that. So that's D. If you want it with the leading zero, it would be D D. We're just doing one D for now. Jokes, go for it. Uh <laughs> so we're just doing this just the one day, putting the one D there, and then we're going to do the dash, and now we need the year. And we want the full year again, so we're just going to keep that the way it is. And we don't have to type in, we don't have to put in the time in here. You could, but really don't need to. Because what we're going to do is just going to copy this. I'll put this up here because it's just on the outside. Four o'clock is always going to be the same time. So let's do that. Let's run it. Make sure it looks good. Tuesday, May 28, 2024. 5, 28, 2024. 4 p.m. Perfect. That's what we want. Now I did all that correctly. So I can delete this. Now I don't need to use this. If I keep this in here, then I'm just gonna use an operation every time. So we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna take the actual formula and I'm gonna come back to this guy, move the clock over, cause we're gonna start by just running this one. So you have to set up your connection, then you come in here, assign to, this is the remember the update custom value. So what are we assigning or what are we updating, assigning it to? Find that specific custom value. So that one, and then if you come in, are we changing the name of it? No, we're gonna keep that same name, but the value is gonna change. So I'm gonna paste the value in here, which is that formula. Now the name, if I come back here, I'm just gonna copy this name. We don't wanna change the name, we wanna keep it the same. So it's just gonna be the same there. I'm gonna click okay. And now, but now we need to update another custom value, the second one. So I'm going to right click, clone this, connect it here. And then in here, this time we're changing to the other one. So I'm gonna find in the drop down commercial webinar short date. You go there. And let's change the name as well. Short date. Put it back. Short date. Now we need the other formula. So if I click out here, side note, this little star means that there's unsaved changes in here. And by just if you click OK, let me just show you this. If you click OK. But now if you click back into it, in some modules, sometimes it takes a while to load because that's to grab the data. But if you have something that's different, say like I put the space in here, now it's not saved. When you click in here, it usually instantly opens back up because I have to go pull the data because it's already loaded. Side note there. I'm gonna open this one up. Okay, it needs to be connected to get it. So we're gonna open it up. And I'm gonna grab this one here, copy all that, come back in here, and we're gonna swap out this formula. So there we have that. So now that we've done that, we can actually just delete this guy. We don't need it. So we updated, updated both custom values. Auto align. I'm going to save this and we see it's running every 14 days. Let's actually go and test it out now. Come back here and we see Tuesday, May 14th, 514. Now I'm going to run once. Update, got green, green, good to go. I could even look in here and see, okay, Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. And I can go here. 
5, 28, 20, 24. Looks good. Now let's go back into high level, refresh the page, and let's see, go back into folder because I put them in folders. And here, now we look, Tuesday, May 28th, 2024, 5, 28, 2024, 4 p.m. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. And now if I come back in here, the only thing that's left to do, we set up, we set up the interval. It's 14, 14 days worth of minutes from now to run every 14 days, updating that custom value. This one's updating the other custom value. And now I just can name it. We'll say update webinar date. And there we go. All I have to do is turn this on now. And now it's going to run every 14 days. I'll save it just to make sure it's saved. Another thing you can do is you can go back into the organization here. And I scroll down. We see all the active scenarios. For example, this one has update webinar dates. That's the one. 13 days, 23 hours from now, which is pretty much right on schedule. His webinar is going to end, and this will automatically update to the next one. So then when we go into here, let's actually test it here. Let's go. I haven't refreshed this page yet, but this says May 14th. So now if I refresh this page, which is the funnel, we should see now it says May 28th. Perfect. That updates. That's exactly what we want. And so that is how you can, and so that's how you can automatically update custom values within your high level. It's great for say webinars, anything that's recurring, or just even any type of automation you want to set up. Maybe you set them up from Google Sheets. And then when that changes, it can go and update custom values. Number of things you can do with that, but I wanted to show you how to update custom values and how to do it automatically with Make. If you haven't signed up for Make, you haven't done it yet, go ahead and check out my link down in the description. I have my, it's my affiliate link to, to Make. Be greatly appreciated if you use that when you sign up. Uh, there's a lot of benefits there are to Make. Um, I have a couple other videos on my channel. Feel free to check those out. And with that being said, or same thing if you need want to check out high level and haven't used that yet, I have my link down in the description also with my free course to high level. So with that being said, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. And with that, I will see you on my next video.